draw circle of radius 20 mm and draw tangent at the point P from here. Now we will take line from P to P dash equals to circumference, circumference of the circle and we will divide it to 12 points. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Then I will join. So we have divided P to P dash into 12 equal parts. Same way we will divide the circle also into 12 parts. We will take this radius. From here we cut off both the sides. Same way from here. As well as from here and top side. Then we will draw horizontal line from all these points. What we will do first? First we will clean one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. Then this is point B. Now what we will do? We will draw this line also up. This line also up, project up. So, what we are assuming that this point C, when it rolls, see this, when this circle rolls, so this point C comes here, C1, when it comes here, C2, C3, C4, C5, C6. C7, 8, 9, 10, 11, and 12. So then what happens to point P? Right? When this circle rolls, what happens to point P? So what we will do, first we will draw a horizontal line from 1, 2, 3 is already drawn, 4, 5, and 6. After that, we will take C to P and from C1 we will cut off this line, the first line. So we will get a point over here. See, so take this radius C1, C to P and from C1 you cut off this line, on first line. Then from C2 you cut off this line. Take this radius C to P and from C2 you cut off this line. Same way C to B, from C3 you cut off this side. As you go on with the same radius, from C4 you cut off four line, that would be here. Then C5 would be here. From C5 if you cut, it will be here. From C6 it will be here. Same way, you keep on doing this, you take the same radius, maintain the same radius C B. From C6 you have cut, now from C7, same way, from C8, then from 9, then from 10 you have cut, and from 12 you have to get this point. Then join all these points. the required cycloid. Now we have to draw normal and tangent. So for that, we have given distance 25 mm. So from here, we go 25 half. Wherever it will cut, that is point M. Now take radius CP. From M, you cut off this line. From here, take CP. From M you cut on this side. From there you draw a vertical line. Wherever you cut. From that point to this point. Draw a line. 
So this will be normal. And if you have a broad tangent, then from here, you draw perpendicular. You get tangent also. 